So in this video, I'm going to show you how to run TikTok ads for your Shopify store. First, we are going to set up our TikTok account. Then we will connect our Shopify store to TikTok. And then I will show you how to set up your ad campaign and run your first ad. So let's get started. First, I want to make sure that you get the TikTok 1000 USD coupon. In order to get it, you will find the link to TikTok down in the video description. It's a partner link and I will make sure that you always get the best offer for the link here because it's a partner promotion and TikTok currently offers you 1000 USD. If you spend 1500 USD on your TikTok account, then TikTok will add another thousand, which you can then use to run your campaigns. And really important, we don't want to set up our TikTok account through Shopee because these clients are excluded. So make sure that you use the link here because then it will directly guide you to the page with the offer. And now you can just type in your email address and your password. Then TikTok will send you a six digit code. You would just type it in and then you can enter your business information, your website URL from your shop, your industry and your phone number. And once you've done so, then you can click on get started and it will bring you to this page here and just accept the anti-discrimination ad policy and now we are inside the TikTok ads manager and first we need to now connect our Shopify store to the ads manager in order to get the data therefore you can go on tools and events and here you can connect different data sources and for example we now have a website our shop and then we can hit next then you can just type in your website for example mine is julianweber.com click next and now we can choose the partner integration and hit next and here we can select Shopify click next and now it will give you a step-by-step -step installation guide on how to install the TikTok app on your Shopify store but luckily you have me and I will show you that so let's go over to our Shopify store and now you can just type in TikTok and it will show us the app and we can directly click on it and it will be the TikTok app. Make sure it's the TikTok app from TikTok. So you will see down here TikTok Inc. and it has quite a lot of ratings, so over 9,000 and then you can hit install. And this part you already know from Shopify, you just install the app and then we can click on continue setup. And now, since we already have a TikTok account, we want to connect it. And as said, I've seen in other tutorials that you create a TikTok account within Shopify. But as I mentioned, this isn't good because then you won't get the coupon code from TikTok for the additional ad credits. So make sure we just want to connect it because we already have our TikTok account. And now it's already selecting the right account for me. Then I can just hit connect and hit connect again and hit connect again. So it's first connected with a business manager of TikTok, then with the ad manager from me. And now you can select how much data you want to share from your shop visitors to TikTok. And this highly depends on your privacy policy and of the region where you based. And for example, in Europe, the privacy policy laws are quite strict. So I would choose standard, but as said, I'm no lawyer. So please go ahead and talk to your lawyer if this is possible and what kind of level you can choose here. I'm, I do not not give any recommendations at this point but I will just choose standard because I'm based in the European Union and then I can click confirm and you can give it some more company information if you want and then you can just click finish setup and now the pixel is installed on our store and if you want you can double check this I have the TikTok pixel helper chrome extension installed here so just type in TikTok pixel helper chrome extension into Google and then install it and it will show you okay the page views are firing and the view content is also firing and the pixel is live so that is very good for us so we can go back to TikTok and start setting up our ad so now we have connected our Shopify store you can always go under tools and events and under events you will see that the pixel is firing so here we have some page views and some events from our pixel for Shopify and now the fun part the second part of this video we want to create our own advertising campaign inside TikTok and before we do so I want to explain you one thing about the campaign structure so in TikTok you always have a campaign and one campaign can include multiple ad groups and one ad group can have multiple ads and on the campaign level on the level one you set the goal for your advertising campaign for example conversions clicks or just reach if you want to reach more follower and on the ad group level you choose the placement if you want to run it just on TikTok or their partners and of course the targeting if you want to show it to men women young people old people and people with certain interests such as sport or watches or traveling so here you 
you have the targeting options. And on the third level, you just upload the creatives, the video ad, and you can test these different ads against each other. So just to make sure that you get the basic understanding of these three levels, campaign, ad group, and ad level. But we will come to this in a minute. For now, we are just at the campaign level. And here we can choose the advertising objective. Either we want to just have reach just to get the word out for our brand. The reach objective is usually used for bigger brands such as Coca-Cola, Nike, and they just want to have advertising campaign showing to the entire world. And then of course you have traffic campaigns, which meaning you get a lot of clicks to your website, or you can just get a lot of views on your TikTok videos, or you want to aim for community interaction, meaning you want to get more TikTok followers, more likes and more comments on your videos. But since we are promoting our Shopify store, we probably want to go for sales because we want to sell our product. So I choose sales and then we can either do it with TikTok shop. But of course we have now Shopify store, then we can hit website. And now we can either choose a smart campaign recommended by TikTok or a manual campaign. I will choose a manual campaign for now because I do want to show you how to set everything up. But here with a smart campaign, pretty much everything is handled by TikTok, by the AI of TikTok. But I do like to have some control over my campaign. So I choose manual and you can connect your product source. So use your product catalog from Shopify if you want, then you can enable this. And here on the campaign level, you can just give it a name. For example, sales, we are going for sales conversion and I do want to sell watches. So this is my product I want to sell in this campaign. So I will just type it in. And later on, if you run multiple campaigns, you can also create split tests and you can also choose campaign budget optimization, which is kind of an advanced option for budgeting and set campaign budget. But we don't want to do this in this settings here because these are a little bit more advanced for your first campaign. We just want to go for sales here and then hit continue. And now we are on the ad group level and on the ad group level, we want to say where we are targeting. For example, I'm based in Germany and I want to target men who are between 20 and 45 years old. And now we can select the pixel, which we have just connected to our TikTok account, the Shopify pixel here. And here you can choose the event you want to optimize for, for example, add to cart or purchase. But since we are just starting, add to cart is actually quite a good event to aim for because this way we will get more conversion data because purchase will have less events than add to cart because some people just put the product in the cart and then leave your store. So I think this is good for now. And then you can select the placement and we just want to run our ad on TikTok because here these are partners from TikTok and I don't have any good experience with this. So I just deselect it. And now we come to the actual targeting. And here TikTok says to us broad targeting is the best solution for advertisers because AI is quite advanced and TikTok will automatically optimize your ad and the delivery for the audience and will just find the best people who will buy your product. But if you do want to intervene and just set your own targeting, you can do so. Just click on the pen icon here and then we can set our target location, in this case Germany, but you can also hit for Switzerland or Austria when I'm based in Germany. And here you can have your age group, for example, I don't want older people and all genders, I can choose male or female. Sometimes this isn't clever because also women might find a new product, a new watch for their husband. So therefore we can leave it at all. And the language, of course, if I'm speaking in the video ad, I want people to understand German. And so this is set on the demographic level and you can also have custom audience. So if you have some data on your pixel, you can create a lookalike audience. So people who came to your store and people who will look similar to those people, you can target those people. But as said, this is a little bit more advanced and we can have detailed targeting. So depending on the interest and here I can just type in watch. For example, if people are interested in watches or if they have a purchase intention. So when they have a purchase intention, of course, they are highly likely to buy. So I can choose this one, but to keep it a little bit broad, because now it says here that the audience is a little bit narrow. We just have 160,000 to 204,000 people in the audience. So when I add the interest of watches, then it will get a little bit more broad. So we have 4 million and four to 4.9 million people inside the audience. So that's fairly broad and then we can target them. And if I have a luxury product to sell, then I can have a high spending power. So people inside my audience have some cash to spend, but my watch is under $200. So I can just leave it as 
all and enjoy the broad audience. So I give TikTok some people to optimize for. And now I can set the budget of my campaign. A minimum of 20 euros is required. So I will set 25 and then I can select my start time. And of course I want my time zone. I'm not in Nigeria, I'm in Germany. So I will just choose my time zone and I want to run the ad all day. And if you want to have like a target CPA, so for example, if my watch costs $200 and I can just spend $50 on a new customer. I can tell the algorithm to do so. But since we are just starting, I won't do it because I first want to run the campaign and see how much a conversion cost me. And then I might optimize for this. So I would recommend leave it blank for now. And then we can hit continue. And as you recall, now we are on the level three on the ad level. This is the creative part where we can upload our creatives. So I call it video one, and maybe this is a UGC ad from, I don't know, Julian. And then I can upload my video or even my images, but I have a video so I can just click here and then on upload. And then you can just drag and drop your video from your desktop. I already uploaded this one. So this is a watch and then I can hit confirm and then I will see my video in here. And down here, you can select the identity. I have my TikTok account connected to TikTok already. I have a video on this on my channel, but if you haven't done so, you can just go here on user and then user settings. And in the user settings, you can connect your TikTok account. And once connected, you can select it from here and then the ad will be displayed on my account. And I can say, don't show it on my TikTok profile and it won't be visible on my profile as a video. I will select this, don't show on my profile. And here I will leave the toggle on because optimization, video quality, refresh for TikTok, then TikTok will just go ahead and just make the video perfect for TikTok. And most importantly, you have a text here. So here you can say, for example, we have a summer sale, save 25% off on new watches for example. So this is a small incentive and TikTok actually gives you some recommendations. So I can choose this one, summer sale, save 25% on new watches. And most importantly, every ad has like a call to action. So for example, here, this is the button interested. And then I can just go ahead and select different call to actions. Interested is okay. Visit store are also watch now. I think it's more for videos. Sign up is also wrong. Listen now also wrong order book is also also wrong play game is also wrong learn more also so i will just leave it as order now shop now visit the store and interested these are the call to action i do want to see and have it tested by tiktok and tiktok will go ahead and test it through and of course you can add more for the product information you can upload an image and the title of the product and some selling points but i think people are good with just watching the video and then clicking on the button and actually i don't want the text too long so because otherwise it will have a line break here so I will just say summer sale, save 25%, make it a little bit short. And I think that's good for now. So this comes down a little bit. And of course, most importantly, we do want to link it somewhere to our shop. And I will just grab a dummy URL from my new course on TikTok ads. If you like to learn more about TikTok ads, you will find a link to my TikTok course down in the video description. And I will link it to, for you there. But I, for now, we'll just grab the URL because I just need a URL because I actually don't have this watch on sale right now. And we don't need this tracking because we already set up our TikTok pixel and then we can just click publish and the campaign will be published. If this is your first campaign, there will be a pop-up asking you to put in your credit card information or PayPal. Please go ahead and do so because TikTok, of course, wants some money from you in order to run the ad. And now the ad is live. We can go back to the campaigns and here we can see that our campaign is set up and it's active and TikTok is now checking the campaign and once checked, it will start running the ad. But for now, I will switch it off because I don't have any watches to sell. And now in the third part of the video, I want to explain you how to scale your campaigns and how to optimize. So we have our three levels, campaign, ad group, and add. And in order to optimize your campaign, I would recommend you to create new videos and either you do it yourself, but of course, creativity is always limited. So I will show you some places where you can get more information and more ads. And if you want to learn more in general about TikTok ads, as said, I do have a TikTok course, which is free down in the video description for you, where we'll teach you how to get more creatives. But for now, I will just show you the websites I would go to. First one, I will also 
link this one for you down in the video description is Fiverr because on Fiverr you can just hire UGC creators. For example, this one, she's just doing video ads on anything. So you just send her the product and then she will start promoting this. And it's quite cheap here, 30 euros or $40 for one UGC ad. It's quite cheap. And of course we live in the time of AI. This is also done by AI. So these are AI UGC creators. The software is called Make UGC. I will also link it for you down in the video description. And this is AI creating content for you. So also very nice. I think it's already looks real. You can start using it and start testing different creative and angles for your advertising campaign. And of course you have agency, for example, bands off ads. They will create a bunch of TikTok ads for you and then you can start using them. And I would go ahead and do so, for example, Fiverr or this AI tool. And then you will have more than one video to promote your product. And I would recommend at least trying three to four different video ads. And if you want to do so, you can just click on duplicate and then you can select how many copies you want, for example, two, and then I can hit duplicate. And now I'm back in the setup of the ad. And here I can just go ahead and for example, this is the second copy. I can just select it and give it a name, for example, video two. And this is the UGC from Martin, for example. Then I can just go through and name the other one, video three, the UGC from let's say Lisa. And this was my first one and I will just leave it as is. And then I can just click publish, back to campaigns. And now I have three different UGC ads inside my campaign. And now I will just let it run. And then you will see how much you spend on the campaign. What's your CPA, for example, your cost per acquisition and which ad is performing the best. And then you can just turn off, for example, Martin, if he's not performing, then you can just turn it off. So this is, was the first step of optimization. Of course, you do want to have as many creatives as you can. So you will find the best videos for your campaigns, but you can also optimize and scale on ad group level because here you can just increase the budget. For example, now we have 25 euros a day, which is roughly $30. Then you can just click edit. And if the campaign is performing for us and if we get new customers for a good CPA, then we can go ahead and hit 50 euros and spend double. And this way you can scale vertically, but you can also scale horizontally, meaning you can just duplicate the campaigns, for example, two or three times and then you can just duplicate it and it will just create multiple campaigns and TikTok will test different buckets of people and you will also see some of these ad groups will perform better and of course you can also just duplicate it and choose to target different people for example you can also target women between the age of 20 and 45 and see how the women target audience group will perform so yeah this was how you can scale I would just recommend increasing the budget as long as you are profitable with your campaign and for the testing purpose you also want to create new ads of course every time because then your target group will always see some fresh content from your brand so yeah this is how you set up your tiktok ads for shopify and if you want to get started make sure that you will find the link down here in the video description because this will give you the 1000 usd coupon for your tiktok ads if you spend 1500 usd tiktok will add another thousand which is quite a nice offer I have to say. And if you have any questions, you also can just leave me a comment here. And if you're down there, feel free to give it a like that this was a good video. So thank you a lot for listening and now have fun creating your first TikTok campaign.